Here's the intro. <laughs> So let's separate it into two parts, and each part there are five chords. For the first part, we need G major. Index, 5th string, 2nd fret. Middle finger, 6th string, 3rd fret. Ring finger, 1st string, 3rd fret. D major. Index, 3rd string, 2nd fret. Middle finger, 1st string, 2nd fret. Ring finger, 2nd string, 3rd fret. Then G major. D major. A major. Index, 4th string, 2nd fret. Middle finger, 3rd string, 2nd fret. Ring finger, 2nd string, 2nd fret. So for the first part, we have five chords. The first three, we play it for four counts. And the last two, each chord for two counts. The second part of the intro, G major. Four counts, D major. Four counts, G major. Two counts, F sharp minor. You take your index, you bar all of the strings on the 2nd fret. Ring finger, 5th string, 4th fret. Pinky, 4th string, 4th fret. 2 counts, and E major. Index, 3rd string, 1st fret. Middle finger, 5th string, 2nd fret. Ring finger, 4th string, 2nd fret. This one for 8 counts. By the way, for most of the song, the strumming pattern is just down, down, up, up, down, up. But for chords which are two counts, you just play half of that, down, down, up. So for the intro, for example, one, two, three, four. So if it's four counts, da, 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 play the whole thing. If a chord is two counts, play half of that. Da, da, da. So for the verse, there are two parts. For the first one, there are six chords. It looks like this. So we need B minor. Index, you bar the first string until the fifth string, second fret. Middle finger, second string, third fret. Ring finger, fourth string, fourth fret. Pinky, third string, fourth fret. F sharp minor. G major. D major. E minor, index, 5th string, 2nd fret, middle finger, 4th string, 2nd fret, and F sharp minor, each chord for 4 counts. Here's the second part of the verse. So it's exactly the same six chords, then we add an extra two more chords at the end. G major and A major. Also each chord for four counts. So remember for the verse there are two parts. The first one, there are six chords. The second one, the six chords plus two more chords, G major and A major. Here's the pre-chorus. Da 
So you only need two chords, E minor, A major. Each chord for four counts, and you repeat that three times. Let's separate the chorus into two parts. Here's the first one. So we need G major, four counts, F sharp minor, two counts, and B minor, two counts. And you just play that two times. Here's the second part of the chorus. So we need G major, four counts, F sharp minor, two counts, E major, two counts, then G major, two counts, D major, two counts, E major, two counts, and a new chord, F sharp major. You take your index, you bar all of the strings on the second fret, middle finger, third string, third fret, ring finger, fifth string, fourth fret, pinky, fourth string, fourth fret. Also two counts. After the chorus, we go back to the intro, the verse, and the pre-chorus. And after that, we reach the bridge. Here's what the bridge looks like. Swimming across the sea G major, 8 counts, D major, 8 counts, E minor, 8 counts, B minor, 4 counts, and a new chord, A minor. Index, 2nd string, 1st fret, middle finger, 4th string, 2nd fret, ring finger, 3rd string, 2nd fret also for four counts. After that, we just repeat the chorus chords. Then for the ending, there's an instrumental, but it's also just the chorus chords. And when you're done with this song, the last chord you play is a B minor. So that's it. Caro, caro, bonito. Swimming. Guitar chords tutorial.